Hello folks, it's, here's Scotty. Strap in as we explore what 20 states have sent to the ATF. Let's get started. Kansas Attorney General Chris Kobach collaborated with 25 state attorneys general and Republican leaders of the Arizona legislature to lobby for withdrawal of a proposed federal regulation that would compel gun sellers to obtain a federal firearm license. The Bureau's definition of sale for profits is itself arbitrary and capricious, Kobach's letter said. For as long as this country has existed, individual law-abiding Americans have sold firearms to friends and family. Doing so would become extremely difficult if this regulation were to take effect. Implementation of the rule would take the unprecedented step of making any individual who sold a firearm predominantly for profit liable for civil, administrative, or criminal penalties unless the seller possessed a federal license, Kobach said. The IDF's regulation didn't clearly define profit and presumed an individual who sold one firearm would be swept up in the expansion of federal oversight, he said. If the Bureau was serious about combating violent crime, it would focus on enforcing the laws that are already on the books to hold violent criminals accountable for their actions, Kobach's letter said. The letter submitted by Kobach was signed by attorneys general from Missouri, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Iowa, and Arkansas. U.S. Sue sends Charles Schumer of New York and Dick Durbin of Illinois. Both Democrats submitted a comment letter on the proposed at EF rule in November. They arguing gun sellers were avoiding background check mint because the phrase engaged in the business of gun sales wasn't adequately defined in regulation or law. The senators said federal rules should consider the offering of guns for sale in commercial marketplaces, whether at a gun show or online, to be a business. For decades, they said gun sellers have sold firearms without background checks because the term engaged in the businesses has never been clearly defined, a flaw which has allowed sellers to avoid and evade licensing requirements and to sell guns in commercial marketplaces like gun shows and online without. Run-in background checks Look, folks, we all understand this where the rubber meets the road. Either you are with this bucket of monkeys or you are with the Constitution of the United States. It's pretty damn clear these people don't care about the Constitution. If you found this information useful, please smash the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope to have you come by again.